Hello and welcome to our continuing coverage of the highlights of the 2006 African Nations Cup. Today we separate the men from the boys as the decisive rounds begin. Today's first game will be a tough one for struggling Libya after their 3-0 defeat in the opening match of the tournament, as they now face the favourised Ivory Coast. To make things worse, they have to make do without keeper Luis de Agostina, who was red-carded in the opener. But opponents Ivory Coast are not in full strength either. Aruna Dindan has withdrawn from the squad entirely following the tragic death of one of his daughters. And fellow striker and Chelsea star Didier Drogba has some knee problems after being substituted after an hour's play in their first match against Morocco on Saturday. But if the Libyans can pull off a surprise victory today, and I must add that only the most extravagantly optimistic football fan can imagine this happening, then we would have our first real sensation of the tournament. Today's first match in Group A sees a return to the Cairo International Stadium. The Libya team, known as the Greens, are in their white strip and opponents Ivory Coast are the team in the orange jerseys. The referee for this match is Maidin Shamsul from Singapore. 50 to 60,000 fans in the stadium today. Of course, many already there for the Egyptian match following this one. 19 goals so far, two hat-tricks in the contest and no draws. Five minutes into play now. Libya on the offensive here. Marai Mohamed Suleiman is on his way towards the elephant's goal and is brought down by Yapo. Who sees his first yellow card of the evening for this and the first of all for the Ivory Coast in the contest so far? Libya looking to make something out of this game tonight and they need to. Ivory Coast applying pressure here. Whoa, lovely shot there. Gazzano showing he knows what he's doing. A substitute keeper, Akali has a go. Shoots Drogba's there too on the rebound, but the Libyans out of danger in the end. Libya look better today, but... We'll have to wait and see what happens. Well, how much longer are we going to have to wait? Maybe I said too much there. We've got Cohen on his way here. Breaking forward. Running towards the goal. Shoots at the goal. Guzala fumbles, can't hold the ball, Drogba sees his chance, hammers the ball across the line, the ball's in, it's 1-0 for the Ivory Coast. They've done it in the opening minutes of the match. Yeah, they've got every cause to dance there. Ivory Coast, go ahead, 1-0. The pressure's off the elephants at least, the Libyans now have their work cut out for them. Bomb, and there it is. There he is on his break. Fumbling with the ball, and the ball's in the back of the net. The Libyans are not sitting back, though. It's May, racing for the goal now. Might he sees no other, no other option, rather than a fouling him just in front of the box. Or was it in the area? Tight decision here for the ref and linesman. Sending the ball back. There'll be some discussions going on here. Uh, he's grabbed him there, grabbed him by the jersey. Which side of the line was it? Tough decision making going on here, but uh, whatever happens, Taib is the man to take the free kick. The ball's over the crossbar. Libya wide awake now, they mean business. The Greens are certainly not going to make it an easy run for the Ivory Coast. But the alarm signals are bleeping in the Libyan goal area now. Kona causing them all sorts of problems. Drog pass is Kona. He comes charging ahead. Heads the ball towards Gazala, who would have no chance. But the ball is over the crossbar. No, Drog pass certainly means business tonight. Libya still fighting for its life here. Hanging on by their fingernails. They're giving the Ivory Coast a few headaches. Oh, Ty tries his luck. The captain with a long low shot here. The Libyan fans are on their feet, but Tizio watches the ball all the way. Stretches out a bit, but's confident there's no danger. Looks like a completely Libyan, different Libyan team here tonight. They're on a buzz. Back, as you can see, the ball goes wide. Carry on the action here. 
We're in for a treat. Free kick for the beautiful cross from the Sia. The elephant's goal in flames for the Sia brings it across beautifully. And a fabulous hard hit header from Ezlai. No chance for Dissier. What a fabulous piece of work from Lydia. The first goal of the tournament and the game is all open again. How will the elephants react to this? One all. The Libya fans are going berserk and who can blame them? Lovely goal. Beautiful header there. One all. News that the Moroccans would like to hear if the scoreline stays this way. Unbelievable. Libya have actually pulled one back. We've got our second goal of the evening. And at the moment, we have a draw on our hands. Long ball here. Drogba. Drogba takes it directly. The ball crossed over the face of the goal. Could have been 2 1 for the Chelsea striker, but Libya fortunate here. They didn't have to run after a second goal. Now, Vaughan's definitely frustrated about the equaliser, that's for sure. But both teams on equal terms at the moment. Chance for the Elephants here. Here they go. Congestion here around the Libyan goal. Drop by Tarkali. Kani gets the ball. Shoots! But he's misjudged his shot. The ball goes sailing out of harm's way over Tizier's goal. The Ivorians want the decision. There's no doubt about that. Aruna. Aruna. Drogba gets his head to the ball. Can't get it forward. Akali picks it up. Shoots! The ball's on its way to the goal. But goes wide. No decision as yet. Both teams playing really well. A really exciting match now. No time for a breather though. Then we can see that again. Drogba gets the ball. Goes across. Akali picks it up. But no chance. But as I said, no chance for a breather. The other side of the pitch now. Taib and Suleiman working together well. It's great skill. Danger for the Ivorians here. Kala takes the ball. Aims at the shot. Goal shoots. Will this be a no? Unlucky. His ball hits the woodwork. Let's the elephants off the hook. Oh, bad luck for the Libyans in this scene. They've been in really brave so far, playing some great football. Been on equal terms with the Ivorians. Bad luck from in this scene. Could easily have been 2 1 for the underdogs here. But yeah, another corner kick. Scorer shoots. The ball deflected high. Tura hits the ball against the Libyan goal. It's on its way. Amadi and Shusham can't deal with it. And the ball's in. The Ivorians have got their second goal. They've got what they wanted. The Libyan defence looked like it was rooted to the ground here. Just Amadi and Shusham trying to prevent the ball going in. Ghazali has to fish the ball out of the back of the net. 12 minutes before full time and the Ivorians are close to their second win of the tournament. There it goes, balls up in the air there. Nothing they can do about that. Balls behind the net before they can do anything. 2-1. Just as it was predicted, the Ivorians in the lead here. The Ivorians want to tie it all up though before time. Danger in the Libyan area again. Will they make it 3 1 ahead of the whistle? Kone, substitution by Adventure Kalu, tries his luck. But Gazala manages to brush the ball out of harm's way. But the clock is ticking down for the Greens. They're getting tired now. <clears throat> They're succumbing to the pressure the Ivorians are building up non stop. Will we see anything happen here? <clears throat> No, final whistle. That's it. 2 1 for the Elephants. Brave Libya. They've given it everything tonight, but they leave the pitch knowing it's all over for them yet again. Two games played, nothing on the shopping list. The Ivorians have four points for both games, and it looks like we have a first team through to the next stages with one game to go. Unlucky Libya, who played well, put on a brave face, 